Is, is it's time to visit with the Blank Park Zoo. Ryan is here from the zoo, and uh, we're going to meet your friend here in just a couple of seconds here, the ball python. But before we get to that, um, we do want to talk about something else that is uh, big news. It was another news story today about what happened involving the lion yeah. that was taken by the right, banks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, what some steps that maybe the Blank Park Zoo was doing uh, with right. the lion. Yeah, well, you know, one of the things that I was thinking about the story, because you, you, you don't know exactly what happened. You hear, read 10 different news stories, and you get 10 different versions of what happened. So rather than focusing on just Cecil the lion, um, let's talk about what has happened over the past, you know, 70 years. When my parents were born, there were 400,000 lions in the wild. When I was born, there were about 100,000 lions lions in the wild. When my kids were born, there's now about 30,000 lions in the wild. So there's been an exponential drop in the number of wild lions. And so there's a number of causes about that. So let's focus on those causes. Like one of the main causes is the, uh, the habitat. The amount of habitat that lions have has been reduced dramatically. So sure, poaching's a problem, mm -hmm. and so is habitat loss. A, a problem with the wild lions. The two main things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we're, we're going to advocate at Blank Park Zoo and is, um, and we've had Jeffrey Flocken on the show here, and we, we've had him at the zoo. And one of the things he advocates is putting lions on the endangered species list, because we've gone from 400,000 lions now to 30,000 wild lions. It's time to put them on the endangered species list. And what that what what that will cause to happen is that will make um, sort of the transport of trophies back to the United States illegal. You won't be able to bring those uh, lions back in to the United States. So effectively, and um, Americans being able to hunt uh, How long of a process is it to do that? Well, they've been working on it for several years, and I think it's a process of, uh, you know, there's a lot of studies and everything, but they're at the point now where uh, there's a petition going around and... Uh, so encouraging, that. yeah, there's some, maybe now there's uh, some momentum with this case uh, of Cecil the Lion that mm -hmm. perhaps now we can get this accomplished. Now, who do you have at the Blank Park Zoo? If people Deuce. Want to come out, Deuce the Lion. Deuce the Lion, yeah. So if people want to come out and see Deuce the Lion, they can do so. Absolutely, right. yeah. Well, Deuce if anything there. came out of this, hopefully it's attention to something Absolutely, that yeah. I mean the Blank Park Zoo you guys not only are known for being a great place uh -huh. to visit in Des Moines but you've had conservation efforts going on since the inception of the Blank Park Zoo Absolutely, and yeah. you've had incredible speakers come in from all over the world that come in and be like hear our story help us fund yeah. what we're doing from this one incident and this isn't the only time this right. happens this happens unfortunately hundreds of times right, throughout yeah, the year yeah. for whatever reason this one set off a spark and this one organization that was trying to protect this lion has now raised over eight hundred thousand dollars right. in a matter of days because people finally got the message yeah. so is this the spark we need to keep writing the tailcoats of to hopefully people realize what's happening yeah, I, around the world absolutely. and with the conservation I think so. efforts I mean, of what even you're I mean, doing. I mean, we've been talking locally. about uh, lions for years. For many years. Say, this and isn't the steps, new. steps that we could take to uh, help protect the lions and, and uh, you know, even if uh, tomorrow we we ban the, the trophy hunting, mm -hmm. um, it, it, still lions are going to be endangered. Right. So um, there's, there, it's a multiple step thing to save lions. All right, now yeah. speaking of being endangered, I'm guessing mice are endangered when this guy is around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a ball python um, from uh, Central uh, and Western Africa. Um, the plain savannas, uh, lightly wooded areas. Um, of course, at the zoo he eats mice, but in the wild, just about anything that he can get in his mouth, you know, uh, uh, lizards or small mammals. And they other call snakes. him a ball python because? Well, uh, Nala's doing exactly that right now. Because curled up in a ball. Yep. Um, also called the, the royal python because this is believed to be the snake that Cleopatra you know, war on her arm, possibly. That's huh. what the sort of the legends uh, say. Um, and so, yeah, she she has this awesome, um, what we call counter shading, which means the underbelly. The underbelly of her is light. So if she were up higher, um, they don't normally live in a tree. But let's say she was just up there in a tree visiting, I guess. Um, 
If you look up, she blends in with the sky. If a bird is looking down, she blends in with the tree or the ground. And right. So it's great camouflage. That is very cool. How long will she live? Um, 20 to 30 years in uh, the care of humans. They've been known to live up to uh, 47 years, I think wow. is the world record. That's pretty um, Maybe cool. 10 years in the wild, something like that. Yeah. That is great. And this is one that goes around and visits uh, various Absolutely, organizations. Absolutely, yeah. She's been, uh, you know, at the zoo as long as I've been there and, uh, you know, is... I call her a sweetheart. She loves to cuddle uh, because you <laughs> cuddle know, with course, a snake, Jackie. Course, well, is she full grown or will she continue? Yeah, to grow? I think she's about full grown. She might grow a little more, but um, uh, they they are the smallest uh, python species. But anyways, I say she loves to cuddle because of course she loves the warmth of humans because she's a reptile, cold blooded, and, and needs uh, heat sources to stay warm. And you're a heat source. Uh, absolutely, yeah. All right. Now, speaking of animals, we have uh, Monkey, Monkey, Monkey performing later yes. on tonight yeah. on stage. These guys are awesome. If you have not seen them lately, you need to come out to the Blank Park Zoo tonight. If you want to have fun, these are the guys that know how to have fun. Uh, going out there about oh, 5.30 or so, they're going to close the zoo at 5, reopen at 5.30. The band will start about 6 o'clock. Uh, one of the most fun bands that will be at Zoo they, Brew they've all been at Zoo Brew, I mean, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. This was one of the first Zoo Brew bands we had 10 years ago. And uh, it's always been fun to have them. Yeah, we've had people comment even yesterday, all the month of August, Subaru bands are just awesome. So you don't want to miss yeah, any of the Wednesdays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up oh, in yeah, absolutely. We got August. Monkey, Monkey, Monkey. We got Sandy Hampton. We got Piano Palooza. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we'll end strong here in the, the last month of Zubru. That is awesome. All right. Well, now I'll let you take care of yourself and uh, wrap yourself around Ryan for the right way home. You'll stay.